Hello everyone, this is Anumita. So yes, this is my first video in English because uh, I used to do in Odia. Odia is an regional language of India because I belong to India. So yes, um, I somehow thought that I should be doing in uh, English because English speaking, sorry, English uh, speaking people will connect better because you know, uh, as per my concern, I have seen so many people who uh, who come and who visit so much, who travel so much, who want to explore new places and new things. So recently we did uh, that uh, Thames River cruise and that was really amazing. And uh, this is the Christmas time and the lights were on and everywhere was lightning like it was the festive uh, festive season. The, so I thought um, I thought to capture all the video and uh, making it for you. So here you go and please do watch, please support me. Perfect timing. We'll go through this boat and it's freezing like anything it's intolerable and uh, for us it's very very new so uh, i'm wearing this gloves and uh, in another hand i'm just trying to soap that nothing is happening but it's uh, very very freezing and we are super excited to have this journey yes hello hello hi <laughs> we on video hello uh, <laughs> hi Okay. Yeah, that's downstairs, which is inside, uh -huh. and upstairs is open here. Oh, okay. Okay. Feel free to come and go as you please. Okay, thank you. A bit, don't you think? No, maybe. <laughs> My name's Stephanie. In case you're wondering where that voice is coming from, it's either coming from underneath your seats, or it's coming from me at the top deck. Hello, I'm waving up here, but I'm the lady. Oh, thank you, bless you. I'm the lady who checked your tickets. Uh, my name is if you out you need directions to the bathroom or if you just want to warm up downstairs he'll be down there to, to welcome you captain <coughs> Dave, captain dave and captain chris gonna look after you tonight just gonna repeat one thing from that safety announcement very important and that is on the top deck we remain seated at all times and my friends there's no smoking and no vaping on the top deck thank you so much yeah i appreciate that awesome we're gonna have a lovely 45 minute cruise along the Thames. Now on the right hand side, you may have noticed this big wheel. It's all lit up via pink tonight. That's the lovely wheel. Oh! Now it's very nice traveling at a breakneck speed on the hour. So my friends, we're going to ask your loved ones to marry you. May I suggest you get ready to cross to the ground because 30 minutes will be a Theatre. I don't know, so there's some beautiful theatres. If you like theatres and plays, do go 
and check it out because tickets over there are generally a lot cheaper than their West End box office counterpart. And a lot of shows that go on to the West End start their first runs at the National Theatre. Shows like War Horse and The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime started out in the National Theatre before moving to the West End and on to international play. Yeah, it looks very moody tonight. 
हाँ दिस इज लंडन ड्रीज Traitor's Gate written on the wall there, and it's above a bricked-up archway. 
as exactly what it says is the entry to the stairs gate. It's where the likes of Anne Boleyn, Catherine Howard, Guy Fawkes, they would have travelled up the Thames and made a lonely left turn into that tunnel, into that archway, into the Tower of London to meet their fate. Now Guy Fawkes, he was tortured in the Tower of London. He was placed on the rack. He had the thumb screws applied and he also had the pair applied. And I'll let you Google that or imagine what colours that might bring. Now Catherine Howard and Anne Boleyn, being royalty, they were spared the indignation of being tortured. No, they were just executed. And apart from being a place of torture and execution, it's had a number of other uses, the tower. Of course, it's the home of the crown jewels. If you like a bit of bling, the best bling in London is housed in the tower. You can also see suits of armour worn by various monarchs wearing that armour and on a horse there. You also get tours by the Yeoman Wardens, the beef eaters in their traditional red garb. They were all ex-military personnel with at least 20 years serving about the history of the tower. If you do get a tour with them, do give them a tip. I've heard that each of the tour by the ghost of a polar bear. Now, at one point, there was a monarch that liked a lot of wild animals. In fact, wild animals roamed freely, including lions and bears at one point. And at least two people have seen an apparition of a polar bear in the grounds of the Tower of London. I'm sure that poor polar bear wasn't very happy at being moved to London to roam around in the Tower. Now, up in front of us, we are about to go under the iconic London Bridge. Now I know it doesn't look that much right now, does it? Well this is a, actually a 1973 version of London Bridge. But there's been a London Bridge on that site or a few meters either side give or take. Um, since actually the Romans founded the city of London in 1850. Now there's been a medieval bridge city in itself. There were houses and uh, shops. Chapels, brothels, some of the permanent structures on the bridge were seven stories tall quite the time. On the south end of the bridge, like the gate house, there is this special capitated heads that have been tarred and put on spikes to act as a warning to any would be traitors that were considering doing their business in the city. Now, unfortunately, the medieval bridge it did uh, come down. Then we had a Victorian bridge, and unfortunately that started sinking. So an American chap, he bought the Victorian uh, London Bridge, and he took it brick by brick over to Arizona, where it currently stands above Lake Cavasso. So if you want to see the Victorian version, you have to travel to the United States. Now, anyone with a nervous disposition should not look to the right as we go under this next bridge. I favorite bridges. This is Southwark Bridge. She's beautiful, isn't she? She was built in 1921 in an Art Deco style. Now it's also called the Lonely Bridge and that's because it doesn't get much foot traffic because there's not much at either side of the bridge, on the south side and the north side. It doesn't really lead to much. You can do all that sometimes to get that it's there. But as you can see, the Lonely Bridge is actually rather beautiful. It has gas lit lanterns on top. It's one of the few bridges in London, it's not the only bridge in London, that still has gas lit lanterns. So at night, such as tonight, uh, it becomes a rather romantic place and lovers and romantic souls alike will come to Southern Bridge to have their photographs taken with that beautiful gas lit lantern glow. On the left hand side of the boat there you see another tall tower that's 325 feet tall in fact that's the old Bankside power station that was decommissioned in the early 1980s due to the pollution it was creating but now since around 2000 it's the Tate Modern Art Gallery and I'm not sure if you can see in the night uh, light here but it says up there Tate Modern free and open no it's not your thing and I know it's not everyone's cup of tea so you can still go in for free and up the top there that glass section that you see there that's a restaurant and bar and maybe after a couple of glasses of wine all that modern art will start to make a bit more sense now you may have noticed the skyscraper
scrapers around here are all funny shapes, and that's not by coincidence. There's a decree, age decree, that states that the sight lines of St. Paul's Cathedral should not be interfered with at eight key points of a city. So the skyscrapers that you see uh, on the left and the right hand side are funny shapes, not only for purely artistic and aesthetic reasons, but also helps preserve those ancient sight lines. You also notice that St. Paul's Cathedral has no tall buildings immediately in its vicinity. That also, again, to protect those ancient sidelines. Now on the left hand of the boat, we have one of those such oddly shaped buildings on the left hand side. Number one, Blackfriars, a tall glass tower block. Now we like to see Boomerang, the cocktail shaker. Um, but the most popular suggestion for a name at the moment is the Kim Kardashian. I guess when, when you see it, you know. Now we're about to go back under the two and a half bridges that make up Blackfriars Bridge. And we've got this first bridge with a collection powered by the sun. And of course, on the 364 other days of the year, it's not. So those um, mysterious columns are there again. This past year, the red columns. They're very, very Oh, but 
position uh, than facing inward. It looks like they are protecting London from the needle. Hmm, maybe those Victorians did know something after all. Now we're about to come back into the pier or uh, the docking procedure. However, just to remind those on the top there, you've done so well, a bit upset about it. In fact, it went to court. They didn't want the London Eye being built. However, the judge said, come on, you are the Ministry of Defence. Let's just buy some curtains. And they did. And luckily, we have the London Eye still. Oh, and she got low. We're just coming in to the pier. Another fantastic opportunity to see the Elizabeth Tower, also known as Big Ben. Now, Big Ben is actually the bell that's inside. And don't forget to subscribe and uh, share, like as well. So yes, keep watching.